Look, most people you're going to meet is going to be online. So it is essential to know if that person likes you as quick as possible to know whether you should pursue that person or cut it off. So here is how you know she likes you over text. For example, number one, timing, 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 timing. Look, everyone's busy. Fine. But when you like something, that is priority. I could be the busiest guy in the world, but if I'm interested in something, that's now top priority. Same thing happens to her. Even more it happens to women. So that BS that she was too busy to text you back, she saw that text. She just didn't care. It can happen once. Look, if she texts you back in an hour or two once, maybe twice, cool. But for the most part, it's all about timing. When you text her, how fast does she respond? And how much, how often does she do that? If she's always on time, in less than say three minutes, she's always getting back to you, she likes you. Number two, they said you were attracted. Look, if she's already comp complimented you through message based on what she's seen, whether it's your social profile or your Tinder profile, that's a good thing. She likes you, there's interest. But here's where you need to hit the home run. When you guys meet in person, she's already having you here. You need to come up here, meaning, she already visually finds you attractive. So you need to attack the other senses. You're still missing the olfactory sense. You're still missing the touch sense. In other words, when you meet in person, you gotta knock it out the ballpark. You're already winning. When you meet in person, you gotta break that touch barrier. More importantly, you gotta smell amazing. Once you trigger that olfactory trigger, and now you've attracted her on all senses, You've, you've got this girl obsessed, bro. And this is why having a good scent is powerful. You need to try out Semper. Look, if fragrances are too expensive for you, which they are for everyone, a good bottle could cost you anywhere from $100 to 500 bucks. It's too expensive. With Semper, it is a fraction of the price and you're getting it delivered to your door every month. New fragrances that you get to experience to grow your scent profile. And here's the cool part. Now Semper says that they only last about 30 days. I've been using Semper now for three to four years. I have never went through a vial in 30 days. If you apply it moderately, a vial can easily last you up to two months. And the cool part is that the more vials they send you, the bigger collection you have, and now you get to pick and choose. And as you can see, they even just dropped a new casing. So they've replaced their old casing, so now their carrying case looks sleeker. It looks better than ever. And you wanna know how good their fragrances are? Like their fragrance collection is all the high-end stuff, all the designer stuff. Let me give you an example. This month, I got the Luna Rosa by Prada, the Burberry Brit by Burberry, the Dylan Blue by Versace, and the One for Men by Dolce Gabbana. Now, if you know anything about fragrances, that entire list that I just mentioned are complete home runs, and I'm getting them for a fraction of the price. And you're gonna get them even cheaper than what I'm getting them, because if you guys click the link down below right now and use that special link, you're gonna get a special heavy discount on your first month's order that makes it a complete steal. If you guys wanna get hooked up with the best fragrances in the game and smell amazing, click that link down below. Number three, the double text. This is simple. You need to see whether if she was the last person to text in the last conversation and the first person to text in the new conversation, she likes you. That double text is so important and it also happens within texting conversations. If you notice that you texted something and then she texts you and then again and then again, it's because she's eager to get you to text it back. Double texting, strong sign she likes you. Number four, you get a picture. This one's a home run. If this girl's already sending you pictures, I'm not even talking about nudes, bro. It doesn't even have to be that committed. I'm talking about just an, a good old selfie or, or a good fit check or whatever she just, she's trying to get your validation. She's fishing for compliments. At this point, she's interested in you, especially, especially if you didn't even ask. If you didn't even ask and she's already sending you pictures, you've won. Number five, what time are they communicating? Look, I would say if she communicates with you any time of the day, it's a home run. It's, it's a good thing. But at night, at night is when she's in her thoughts, right? At night is when she's daydreaming. And if, you're, and if you're the guy that she's always thinking about right before she goes to bed, you're that guy, bro. Which ultimately rolls us to number six. There is an equal investment. Conversations give and take. You never want to be heavy sighted. If you ever feel like you're the one carrying the conversation, it's because you are. You are, and you're probably losing, and she probably doesn't have interest, and you're fighting for that interest, and at, at which point you're losing meaning. You need to make sure you feel like the conversation's 50-50. The length of text, they're the same. The length of storytelling, the length of which who texts first is the same. You want it to be as equal as possible, because that usually means there is heavy interest.